today we're going to be doing Extremity Issue 3 Review. So this was a great issue. I have to say I did like it better than the second one. But the first one is still right up there on my top, probably within my top 10 comics that I like. Um, and that is, well, no, I like Walking Dead way much better than Extremity, but Extremity is really, really good. So, and I'm really liking how... Um, it's doing all these flashbacks, so we get a better view of Thea's life, and Rolo, and, um, Alba. I think that's how you say it, Abba? Something like that, that's her father's name. So we have a flashback for when she first got her stamp on her face, and what she was supposed to be, and claimed to be an artist, which is what she was supposed to be. She's drawing, and then her dad comes up, and they're talking, and then they are, um... Right here we have uh, Shiloh, Rolo, and I don't remember this other guy's name, but like he's like a random character. He was in the first issue, but he was barely in it. He was in like he's on one page, but either way. So they're talking to Shiloh about these paintings and their backstories and stuff, and then we go over to the other side, which is known as the Paz Nina. Their leader, or at least their new kind of type of wait. That's the this is the best. Name. So their leader kills a wolf, gets the wolf, starts taking its skin off. Then um our people, the Roto people, fire away don't even know what it is. It's like a big ball of s blood or something. I don't get I don't really know what it is. It's like a bomb. It's like a blood bomb or something right there. Um, either way, so then we have that awesome, awesome beast just charges him, and he's after him. He's, so, here's what that happens at the top panel when he collides. You can see a guy flying up in the air, and it is amazing. It is so cool. So then we have, um, this, like, machine thing that they're, that they're flying in and stuff or whatever. And then, boom, he eats that thing. And he cuts it in half. You can see him biting down on it right there. He just destroys it, too. And this comic is really interesting because, like, its story and the way it goes is so awesome. Um, then you have Thea. She's riding around. Uh, then you have the Pasnina leader. He's a about to kill Rolo. And then his dad just comes out of nowhere. He's chopping someone's head off. Like, another head, stomach, hand. Another head <laughs> and another head, uh, and then like kind of like a stomach. It's like it was like a right there and then a, right there. But either way, so they're all dead for sure. He c even cut off the Pasnina's leader's hands. Um, so that was um a little bit a really interesting, and then it reveals his face and oh, uh, it's like. It looks like he smokes 20 packs of cigarettes a second. Like, he has, his face is all, it's weird. Sorry, I don't know what that looked like. It might have looked really weird on camera. Um, but either way, so he rips one of his teeth out as usual, and then Thea is about to kill him, and I believe she does. It doesn't really, it doesn't show her do it. It just shows like a shadow, and the shadow's not the clearest. But then we go back to Shiloh and Rolo. Shiloh's about to take off his mask. Um, and then we, um, um, he says he doesn't, Shiloh's like, I don't like killing. I don't want to kill. Uh, wait, no, 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 no. Is that him? Wait, okay, so never mind, actually. It wasn't his dad that saved him. It was Shiloh that saved. Yeah, it was Shiloh. I'm sorry. It was Shiloh that saved him, the robot guy. Um, so yeah, he saves him, and then he's like, "I don't like killing. I don't want to kill." So then we, but then we get a flashback of um, Abba, Thea's dad, the leader, to his wedding with his wife before they killed her. Uh, but it's like a dream. It's not actually what's going on. It's not actually what's happening. So. All of a sudden, they're dancing, and then all of a sudden, her blood starts coming out of her mouth, and she has the thing that killed her coming out. You know, like, they do that sometimes in Walking Dead, like, with Michonne. She's just having, like, it's like a dream. She's having, like, a normal conversation with her old husband, and all of a sudden, she looks like they don't have arms anymore. This is what this is. It's like that. Like, all of a sudden, she he's just talking to his wife, and then he, that's how she, they, she died. Um, 
and then it's like happening in the middle of their wedding. It's just a dream. He wakes up, and then we have Thea drawing him in his sleep. He's like going crazy in his sleep. So it's like kind of concerning for him. And that is the end of the issue. Here's extremity issue number four cover. You have Rolo and Shiloh right there, and then you have some of their people there. You have. It looks like the other people. Yeah, it does. But then like the it looks the people look like the Pasnino, but then. The weapons that they have look a lot like ours. They look a lot like, uh... Oh, that's cool. A Walking Dead advertisement in the back. Oh, I'm sorry. I'm getting off track. <laughs> um, but it looks like it's our people, the Roto people. So, but this... Either way, we'll figure out next issue who it is and all that stuff. But then we have this really awesome cover with Thea right there and then the Paz Nina back there. So, amazing issue as usual for Extremity. Thank you guys so much for watching this review. Here's another look at the cover right there. Thea, Paz Nina. So, thank you guys for watching and I'll see you guys next time on my next Extremity review on Ryan's TWD channel.